Hi guys, it's Jackie Duran. And this video, I'm going to do a very short tutorial on GoodNotes 5. It's a new way to plan. If you guys are anything like me, I obviously am a planner, but I've always planned in notebooks and journals and I've done bullet journaling. I needed something new and I needed something to inspire me to be consistent. So this year I decided to go digital. Now GoodNotes is an application. It works on the PC. It also works on obviously um, a pad or a tablet. So when you first open GoodNotes, you are kind of left at this landing page. Any documents that you create, any files that you import, they all live here in this landing page. For example, I can show you what I currently have, which this one is my personal journal. This one is my for all life planner. <laughs> this one is a planner that is specifically dedicated to my business as a Cincy director. And then over here, I just have a file that I've started for stickers. Now, if you click the plus button over here on the documents, you can see this is where you can actually import. You can create a new notebook, create a folder, anything like that. GoodNotes itself, it is a paid application, but to me is very, very, very much worth it. Now I could go to a notebook. I could create a brand new notebook. What I can do is I can come here. I can choose the cover that I would like for my notebook. It already comes with lots of different fun patterns, very pretty, stylish. Here is where I can actually choose the paper that I want included in my planner. Now, again, if you're anything like me and you've done any type of planning before, you know that you've got some different kinds of paper, right? You've got ways that you can do columns, text columns, ruled columns. Um, you have your essentials here, your dotted paper, your squared paper. You've got accounting, to-dos, weekly planners. So let's go ahead and let's just take a peek and let's go ahead and just create this one. I'm just gonna give it a title of new. <laughs> I know, very creative. Now, as you can see here, it automatically sets up this. And what I can do is I can create an entire weekly planner with just this, right? You can see everything here is blank. So I'm kind of wide open in that area. So I can go in and I can do a lot of different things. I'm gonna talk about the tools very quickly up here at the top. This tool here is the tool that actually allows you to click for wherever you would like within the document, within the entire notebook that you're working in and be able to click any hyperlinks that may exist. Because this is just a document that we created, there's no actual hyperlinks built into this. So that's not really gonna do much for me. I could export this and decide to print it. Maybe I wanna go ahead and write this out and then print it and carry it with me. That would be wonderful. If I wanted to present this, obviously I could go into a presentation mode. If I wanted to export this to a PDF, Maybe I could make a blank template for my team that they could use on a daily basis. And I could upload that as a PDF file that they can then download, print out, and use as needed. I can very quickly mark this as a favorite page if I'd like. I can zoom in. I can go out to any page in the document. As you can see, I can begin to add pages, right? I can do the same type of thing that I would do if I was actually creating a brand new journal. So here would be my cover. Maybe I wanna spruce this up a little bit. To be able to edit with anything, you're gonna click that link there. As you can see, that opens up a nice toolbar up here. 
shapes are predetermined, which is very, very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna draw a shape. You can see that my outline is not very pretty, right? All right, that still didn't turn out very pretty. Let me go ahead and redo that. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Now maybe I want to go inside and I want to, I want to put a picture in there. Perhaps I want to put a picture in there of, well, let's see here. Let's do this nice quote. I can bring this up. I can resize it. This can now be the cover of my journal. I really like that. I don't know about you. I have a pen, I have an eraser. I can actually change pens. So I have a pencil, fountain, ballpoint, or a brush pen. This is where you can connect different styluses, Apple Pencil. Again, eraser. This is a highlighter, shape tool. This is your lasso. Pictures that will pop up from your recently added in your camera roll. This is if you wanted to take a picture text box if I wanted to actually just text or write in text. And then of course, for the fonts, I have all of these over here that I can choose from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let's say I'm gonna go to the first page. It's January. Now we're just gonna pinch to zoom in or zoom out. I like to actually zoom in as much as I can because I can get a better writing style when I do that. This is also a point to where I can show you, we can change the thickness of our lines as well. Pinch out. And there you see how I've zoomed in there. Now, if you're anything like me, you can see that this is a little off-centered from that line. That drives me a little crazy. So I'm gonna take my lasso tool, I'm gonna draw around it, select it. Now I can move this text anywhere I'd like, but really what I wanna do is just line it up centered on that line. And now I very easily have done that. Let's go ahead and add a sticker. I've got some stickers already preset on another page. So let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and lasso. This is our cut tool. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna paste. So now I have my sticker. I can resize this, I can move it wherever I'd like. In fact, let's move that over a little bit more. There we go. I like things very centered. There we go. Another really great thing that you can do is you can actually toggle back and forth on Pinterest and you can find a ton of free stickers. So you could save them to your camera roll. Um, again, I've got like this sticker folder that I've started creating. So I'm able to kind of easily come over here, cut and paste and move in as needed. Now let's say I wanna go ahead and make an appointment and I wanna write down my reminder. So let's say on Monday at 11 a.m., I have my leadership call. As you can see, you can fill this out however you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and show you very quickly how to highlight. 
which is again, very easy. If you draw a line, it will automatically go ahead and line that up for you. Let me show you a little peek of what I've started over here. Like I showed you from my very beginning screen, I do have a planner that is dedicated just for my business. So this is a planner that I've actually downloaded. So whereas over here, I actually started creating a planner. What I've done is I actually went on to Etsy. I have a really great seller uh, that I follow on Etsy, my daily planners, and they've got a lot of amazing templates. Remember up here I said this is where you can click if things are clickable. I have clickable links in this because this is how this notebook is set up. I can jump to a certain month, anything that I would like. This is just my cover page. This is my index page where I have kind of laid out what I need. I have an actual template that I can now move in as needed. I've got a year at a glance, I've got important dates, and I've got a habit tracker set up. All I did was take the actual template for the month, went through and created that. Again, there's my template. Here's some daily things. I actually have set this up because the way that my day works is more of morning, midday and evening. And that's how I've started. So that's how it will continue. There are lots and lots of different ways that you can work within GoodNotes. I highly suggest GoodNotes 5 as the app to begin with. It is an amazing user-friendly program. You can get onto YouTube. There are lots of tutorials. And obviously I am still learning as I go. So I'm gonna be sharing more and more with you as I continue this, but I just wanted to very quickly give you an overview of what can actually be done. Again, I've got a tracker here where I've just kind of set things up. So every single month I can come in here and I can use this as a tracker. Again, this is more of a habit tracker, but because this notebook is specifically built for my business, this is a notebook that continuously has only habits related to my business. Again, feel free to create your own. Make it whatever you'd like. Truly, the sky is the limit. And what I've really found that I love with digital planning compared to paper planning is that I can literally create anything that I'd like. Now, with paper planning, I have to get all the correct pens, stickers, Everything has to be just right. And I'm very particular when it comes to my handwriting. So if I'm writing something and maybe my hand's just not as steady today as maybe it would be the next day, I can then go in, erase, I can tidy up that lettering, I can do whatever I need to do to make it look the way that I want it to look. That's what I truly love about it. I hope this has inspired you and please continue to watch for more tutorials. Trust me, they are coming.